Um, so we, this week we ordered Arby's Wagyu burgers. <laughs> Wagyu. Th- That's it. Wagyu. Oh, you're right. Wagyu. I'm just laughing at Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all told me that idea. Y'all seen these Arby's burgers? I said, no, but I want to try it. <laughs> Wagyu burger impression? for fast food. Hey. Was it Wagyu? I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know if it was Wagyu or not. I don't know if Arby's has a grill. But no kidding. But I, mean, I never went by there. It's like, man, it really smells great here at Arby's Grilling. Have y'all? No, no. and they I don't mean, sell burgers. They don't otherwise. sell burgers. They sell, I'm sure, bag heated up roast beef and whatever else they have. Chicken sandwiches. They probably have a deep fryer. Their curly fries are on point. <laughs> but that burger wasn't deep fried. It was good. I'm not. So I'm not gonna knock it. It was a good burger. It was a good. It was fast a good food fast burger. food burger for what they're big. saying. Yeah. Now was it really wagyu? I don't know. There's no way to tell. Um, I'm telling you what they did to them, and I think they didn't. They say did they make a comment, or did I read it somewhere that they tell people they're sous vide them. I think that was so. Like that's a part of their thing. That's what they're doing. They've they've already cooked those somewhere, held them to a certain temperature, and now they they can take them to their stores and they can drop them in a bag, in some warm water, and heat it up, and the temperature will be the same. So it fits the application. That's yeah. why they're not grilling anything in there. But it was pretty good burger. I'm not gonna lie. It reminded me of. Kind of a back if you're you remember backyard burgers Heck the yeah. chain that's what it reminded me of without the grill taste yes backyard used to be the best but, but we had I mean it was you know a substantial patty it was bigger than a quarter pounder at McDonald's I mean if you're into if you want some fast food you want a decent burger I'd say give it a shot yeah the sauce they had on it they had some kind of special sauce on it that was pretty good we didn't have the they have another one it's like a bacon ranch version and then just a deluxe version. We just went deluxe to try it. It was cheese, lettuce, uh, tomatoes, pickle, pickles, and red onion, and special, the, sauce. special sauce on both yeah. sides, and the burger. It was, you know, it, I'd give it a thumbs up. I would too. It was pretty good. I would eat another one. Put it that way. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a it's a fast food. Is it is it as good as a burger? Did it change you your could, life? No. Is it as good as a burger <laughs> that you could cook at a Wagyu burger? You could cook at home. Heck no. Heck no. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to, so we're going to do a comparison. I'm going to cook you and probably do a TikTok on my version of a Wagyu Deluxe burger. That's see a which good, one's yeah. Better. Okay. So how are you going to cook a Wagyu Deluxe burger? I'm not burger? going to sous vide it. <laughs> <laughs> where are you I'm going to grill it. Where are you going to source the meat? It's probably just going to be some trim, uh, A9 trimmings that I got from Ooh. Kevin and <laughs> grind them up myself. I know, but if you were going, if you. Oh, if I were going to source it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would call Kevin the butcher shop. Say, hey, man, I need some ground. He, he sells. Like, he you can sells go to his butcher shop and buy ground Wagyu by the pound. Now, they're starting to sell it. I think Walmart has a line. Yeah. And I want to say I saw some at Kroger the other day. So. But I don't know too. if it was like, it was kind of misleading. It's, it's got to be a There's no USDA thing, thing on this. Yeah. There's no thing that says, oh, this is Wagyu cow. We certify it. None of that. So it's all marketing. So the one I saw was like, Wagyu like or something like that. So, man, what is this? <laughs> They're just selling fatty meat. Yeah. It's probably all it is. I mean, I can't, I don't believe that it's coming from any different. Like That's they've like, got some, I mean, if it was, it'd be so much per pound, they'd never have it in Kroger or Walmart. Yeah. It's like they might have it from cows that have Wagyu like genes or yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At what point, what is, what is, what makes Wagyu Wagyu? It's like yeah. certified Angus beef. You can call anything Angus beef, and yeah. they'll and they'll try to rip off the certified Angus beef and kind of trick the consumer a little bit. Yeah, but to have that certified Angus beef brand, they have certain um, stipulations and regulations and requirements. Right, with them there. Yeah, yeah. I would. I'd put cert that probably certified Angus beef up ground at the store. Like you can go to Super Low, buy certified Angus beef, and put that up against any of those Wagyu brands. I bet it tastes better. Oh yeah, I would just say. because I mean. I've I've had it. It does. <laughs> <laughs> now it does not taste better than when I have brisket trimmings and I grind them up. But see, the thing with that wagyu beef is you can't have like hundred percent wagyu beef. I mean, to me, like if I'm all my brisket trimmings, I guess it does have more fat in it than that it does lean. But when I have the ratio right, even if it's fifty fifty fat, you, I mean it's it's so much grease. You have to cut it with something. So what I do is buy chuck roast, like a choice grade chuck roast, grind it, and then grind all my Wagyu brisket trimmings and then mix those together. So you end up with something that's more akin to a 80-20, you know, that you yeah. would see. But it has, it has so much flavor. more flavor because it's got that really good fat in it. And that makes the absolute best burger. 
So I've it's had, part brisket, part chuck. Oh, it's good. I tried cooking one just from ground wagyu yeah. trimmings, and it, it wouldn't even stay together, even on just a flat top cooking. Yeah, it just fell apart. <laughs> yeah, it just falls apart. <laughs> That's when you just cover it in cheese. <laughs> That's what I did. That's your glue, and then you scoop it up, and you probably still got one of the best hamburgers. Now, I will say this. You can cook. A, real, a, a burger that's got a good bit of the real Wagyu fat in it, you can cook it to well done 165 <laughs> degrees, and it still just runs juice <laughs> out everywhere. That's when I learned. I was like, man, these are awesome. You cook these, you can't mess them up. You can overcook them. I mean, I, I, mean, I wouldn't undercook them, but, I mean, I'm not eating mm. my burger rare, but I like it medium. That's where I want it. So Every time I order a rare burger, they look at me funny. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> You want worms. <laughs> the worm I only do it somewhere like Huey's or uh, whatever where I know they're getting the meat fresh. Yeah. Hey, that's the standard from the gold standard for me in a Memphis area. You want to base your burger, if you got a good burger, you got to beat Huey's. 